So in this video, we're going to print the latest entries in Orbit Slider. So let's open the code. And here on the template parts, we're going to create a new file. Here the template parts is a folder that is intended to be used where you can create files that you can reuse in other places. But we're going to create the slider here, slider entries dot php. Let's add a div with the class row. Close this div. And I'm going to add hello. If I save this, you can see that nothing is changing because we created this file, but we haven't associated this with the index.php. And maybe you're thinking, well, I can add a, an include. But WordPress has its own, its own function that is called get template part. And you can add something like a template parts, then the slash and slider, then we add a comma, space, entries. Save. And as you can see, it says hello. So now we can continue working with this file. And let's continue. I'm going to add a div with the class, orbit. This is the class that will style this as a slider. Then we add this, the method data orbit. And this will execute the JavaScript that we need. Let's add a UL or an order list with the class orbit container. And let's add an li for each of the, the entries. The way that you query the WordPress database is using a function called WP query. So let's add something like a variable called a slider equals to a WP new query, a new WP query. And then we're going to pass post per page. Post per page is a function that you can tell the WordPress database how many items you want to print in your, well, in your in this section, I'm going to add four. Next, I'm going to create a while slider and I'm going to access this using a have post method. And this will check if there are any posts. Then we're going to run the following slider the post. And the post is the object that will contain all the information of this post. For example, this title, this content, this image, this category, the date that it has been published, the, the person who published that entry. All that information is related to the post. So let's continue. You can see we added this while, so then we need to add an end while. PHP block again, and while and WP reset post data because we have changed the WordPress loop. So you have to use WP reset post data. This way WordPress will continue working as is designed. And you can see here we added this LI class, LI tag, and I'm gonna add a class orbit slide because this will be a, a slider and let's for example print um, an image if you want to print the image you can use the post thumbnail and the post thumbnail will print the feature image that we have set right here next we need to add a, a div that will be the the caption that we have here and we add an h3 with the class orbit caption and text center i want this text to be center and i'm gonna add the title of the entry and using this the title function will print the title that we have right here so for example i want that if you click on the image it will take you, take you to the full entry. So I can add a, an href. And here I'm going to add a PHP block again. 
the function that will print the the link to the full entry is called the permalink so I'm gonna cut this and paste right here so if I save this you can see that we have something like this we have the image we have the title and if I click here this will take me to the full entry but you can see that this slider isn't rotating it's not working but we need to add a, a, cl a class called is active. For example, I want this I want to add this class to the first item. So let's create a PHP block again. I'm gonna create a new variable equals to zero. And I'm gonna increment this in the while loop. So we can add something like E. And this means the current number is zero but this will execute all this code and when it comes to here this number will be increased by one so this is going to be one continue and when it re reach this point again it's going to be two all the four times that we have here on the post per page so let's add something that will check or, or add the is active class only when we are in the zero position php block again echo e equals equals zero if it's equals to zero add the class is active if not if not don't print anything so let's say and now you can see that the entries are rotating So I think it's looking better, but you can see here we have a problem. First one is that the images, some of them are really big, other ones are more smaller. I want to print all the images in the same size or in the, use the same height, for example. The other one is that we haven't print the bullets that we have here at the bottom. Let's fix the problem with the bullets and in the next video we're going to fix the problem with the images. Let's add a nav with the class orbit bullets. Close this nav. And let's add PHP. And I'm going to add entries equals to, we're going to select this variable and this variable will contain the number of post with a method called post count close the php block and let's create another one php right here four so we are here we have a while we're going to be using a four right here i uh, equals to zero I less than entries for example here we have four posts and we are setting the slider post count that is four to the entries so while this one the this variable is less than four this will continue executing this code and we add an e plus plus We close the four right here. And we're gonna print inside a button. Button. Button class. PHP again. Echo equals to zero. Is active because the first bullet has to be is active also. And finally, data slide, PHP again, echo I, and close the button right here. So let's save. And now you can see we have this boot, these bullets here at the bottom. And you can see when I click in one of them, it's getting another color. So the is active class is being applied. 
but we continue having the problem with the size of the images. In the next video, we're gonna fix that problem.